Hello everybody and welcome back to another Twitch stream. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you're doing very, very fine indeed. Or is your name? Congrats on being the first person here. DFC, welcome back to another stream. Snowy Horned Al and Marensasora. I think I'm slightly getting better pr at pronouncing your name every stream, but like, I'm still very bad at it. <laughs> and welcome Nikhil as well. Let's go ahead and turn on the game and we can see what we are doing. Standing on, on a bridge, looking at the sunset. It was a lot nicer like 20 seconds ago, but I mean, at least you get to see the moon rise. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> anyway, so today we're going to be working on a couple different things here in the village, and we're going to be trying to completely finish up the village project, and we're actually way closer than you might think. There's only a small bit of decorating that we need to do here and there to make everything extremely proper. Uh, Nog, thank you so much for resubscribing for two months in a row. Very nice of you, and welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing good today. Hello, R. Gibson. And the organs. And Brown Penguin. And Nyx. Hello, many peoples. <laughs> what have you guys been up to today? Have you done anything interesting? I swear, it is just extremely dark out today. Like, not even in-game. IRL, it, it just appears that there is no sun, and that there has never been a sun. It's just, it, it's so dark out. It's menacing. It's like, oh man, I'm expecting some big monsters to like crawl out of the mist or something. It's not fun. I don't like it. It's scary. It's creepy. I am curious how our egg farm is doing, though. Oh, look at that. We actually do have a fair amount of chickens in there. But we don't have, like, double chest upon double chest of eggs. Uh, we have... Okay, we got like a stack and eight. Okay, that's fine. We'll go ahead and throw these guys in there. We're trying to get a bunch of eggs. That way we can actually uh, make a wither rose farm. Hey, you you gotta go into the thank you. Cool. Yeah. Is that someone that wasper? Yes, it is. Yes, it is indeed. Are you the wolf? Mwahaha. <laughs> Okay, so we got a couple more eggs out of that. That's fine. I guess we'll just slowly try and stack that up over time. Because uh, we really do need, like, a lot of eggs. We need, like, double chest upon double chest of eggs. Because you don't actually get that many chickens from the eggs, which is unfortunate. And I think that's going to be, like, the best way of getting wither roses. Either that or maybe, like... Uh, Endermites wouldn't work. I guess we could try golems, like snow golems or something. I don't really know. There's not a good way of doing it. <laughs> There's just like, uh, with the rose farms are weird. I've been toying with the idea of one for a couple of days now, and it just seems, it just seems bad all around because we don't have proper wither cages. We only have wither killers, and I don't want to make something that requires you to break bedrock or get bedrock, because those are not reliable, of course. And there's no room for sponges in here. That's fine. We'll just throw these into the smelter. Snow golems are 100% as opposed to eggs. Yes. That is true. Uh, the only thing about snow golems is that it is kind of manual. So you would need to... You need to have a pumpkin farm for the heads. And then you'd ha need to have a snow farm for the body bits. Yeah. The body bits, you know? <laughs> Enderman. Well, the thing is, is that like if you have a wither cage, right... Everything around that wither cage is going to be getting destroyed all the time unless you farm like a lot of bedrock, which is not reasonable. Uh, so you can't really build like a proper enderman farm over there or anything. Which is slightly unfortunate. And that that there is the challenge, which is interesting. I haven't really like actually put in any time to trying to figure it out. I've just been kind of like toying with the idea, uh, like mildly in between other frantic thinking sessions. <laughs> I have to think about a lot of things every day. And now I've been trying to figure out a wither rose farm as well. Oh man, we need to go to sleep already? I just, oh man. I guess I did start the stream at sunset, so whatever, Jeez. Because Saber isn't here, you shall hand out the party hats. Very nice. I do enjoy the party hats. Party hats are great. Party hats for everybody! <laughs> Trap it, wither, and make an enderman farm out of that. Again, everything's going to be getting blown up and destroyed all the time. So you can't really build, like, a lot. If you build something, it's got to be, like, kind of a small deal. It shouldn't be anything big. 
Uh, but anyway, getting into the main projects of today, we have just a couple small things that we need to do. So the outer wall of the village could use... What? Who, who put that there? That was not me. Anyway. Random hole in the mountain? Jeez. Was it you, zombie? How dare you? Get, get out of here. Jeez. You and your block mining. Uh, but yeah, we need to do a little bit of decoration to this outer wall to finish this thing up. There's uh, a couple horses in here. That really looked like the paddles of a boat for a second. <laughs> uh, I keep getting distracted. I just want to say like 10 words and then I'll be done. So yeah, the outer wall of the village. We need to finish this up so that the rest of the village can be complete as well. And then there's just a couple small areas on the inside of the village that also need decoration. There we go. I said the three sentences that I needed to say. It was not difficult, but it took multiple attempts. <laughs> words are hard. Oh yeah, there's also like a ton of lag today, so you're gonna probably hear me complaining about that a little bit. Like I was eating for like a minute straight, just holding down the button. I probably like ate like a hundred fish and it just would not replenish my hunger. Would not do it. It was ridiculous. I managed to capture it on camera, so that was nice. Uh, so it looks like going around the outer wall, we already have a fair amount of you know, decoration going on, but I think the sandstone wall is the one that's really missing. Yes, yeah, so we need to decorate the outside of this as it has absolutely no decor going all the way around. And also, Withercrafter, welcome back to another stream. Thank you very much for the Terminator biddies. Explosions. <laughs> Using obsidian. Yeah, but the, the Withers can blow up obsidian, though. They can blow up everything that is not bedrock, so... Yeah, you can't really build much. Sadly, there was a point in time where the obsidian and basically everything else in the game was witherproof because the withers were completely broken. They couldn't, like, break any form of block. It was kind of cool. You could have overworld and, uh, overworld wither killers, but that, of course... Well, no, you know what? It did actually last a fair while because they didn't fix it at all. <laughs> but yeah, that, that got fixed eventually. So we no longer have that. But uh, it, was, it was pretty decent while it lasted. You couldn't really make much with it because of course the withers couldn't break blocks. So you couldn't make like, you know, cobble farms or, you know tree farms or anything like that out of it but it was still fun i did a bug rock of the week episode on that you just came from iskal's stream oh very nice i wasn't aware that he was live i try to raid him every now and again but we never do <laughs> he was probably yeah i guess the only thing that he's streaming nowadays is uh funcraft and Funcraft is actually pretty good i played a little bit of that with eagle fam the other day that was really fun we found like five or six spawners in a tiny area and man this the spawners in modded they uh they're evil they spawn like boss mobs and stuff it's like what no 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 i went in there with like less than iron gear as well <laughs> uh hopefully i can get on early enough and then play some more of that with her later as well i have a terrible sleep schedule so that's more difficult than it sounds uh, not too impressive on the decoration front, but we just need to add something to the supports of this wall. Something here, something there. Hello, Black Angel. Welcome. Uh, Trident Killers should be fixed in the next update. Uh, they're not intentionally broken, and also I've brought it up to the devs as well. So we should be a good one. Uh, also, the, the current Zero Tick farm does work. If you saw today's episode, or sorry, today's tutorial on the channel, you'll know I released a new Zero Tick sugarcane farm. Uh, the uh, the big one that uses like chunk borders and stuff, that one still works for cactus, bamboo, sugarcane, kelp, all of the things. That still works just fine. So you can still build that one if you want to. Although, it has to be built in a certain direction. I need to do some more testing on that, but... Yeah, it still does function. 
if you do it correctly. But yeah, basically everyone's been asking for a new Zero Tick Sugarcane farm for like a week. <laughs> it's like the majority of the comments are like, this Zero Tick farm is broken. I'm like, I know, give me time, I'll fix it. There's so many other videos to make. <laughs> so many things to do. This update's been crazy. Update's been totally crazy. Yeah, they kind of messed up the Trident Killers pretty good. Uh, well, they didn't really, again, they didn't intend to. It's just, you know, there's so many bugs in 1.13, it's bound to affect some of our builds. Like, I doubt, I highly doubt that they intentionally broke Zero Tick Shurikane farms or, like, Enderman farms or anything. So, you know, they don't usually break things. They have too many things to fix on their own. They don't want more things. <laughs> They're just worried about adding new features and fixing old bugs. They ain't got time to break our nice things and a prime example of this is if they really wanted to break some of our nice things they would have removed the beacon factory just saying that was some super low hanging fruit and they didn't go for it so yeah they really probably don't care about our nice things uh so yeah that was actually where am i walking i'm getting distracted now squirrel moment uh i just did the little decoration for that side of the thing and I think we need to, like, get some foliage around this wall as well. That would look pretty decent. So, I should have a little bit of that in the yellow box of doom. Uh, the Tango Tech Converted Storage System also broke. Uh, I have that in this world. That didn't break for me. That is the wrong box. Because that has nothing in it. <laughs> oh, good. I do have some dead bushes. Excellent. I was wondering about that. Also, a thing about that uh, Tango Tech converted storage system, technically it's a conversion of his build, but like, uh, yeah, 90%, it's basically just like the same chest layout. Not, not, nothing else is like the same. <laughs> I had to change everything for that to work, literally everything. None of the redstone is the same. I guess besides like some of the hopper powering. For the most part though, that's like, it's a new design. <laughs> Bedrock Edition is like that. I had a series a long time ago called Will It Work? Where I was trying to like convert things to Bedrock Edition. And yeah, I basically scrapped that instantly. Because like, no, you, you can't convert things to Bedrock. It's just not a possibility. You just got to completely redesign things from the ground up. If you want something nice, you got to design it on this platform. From scratch. Ground up. Uh, we should probably go ahead and fill in this hole right here. It's just kind of... Disgusting looking. That's not buggy at all. Definitely. Definitely not. What is that line over there? I have no idea. Hello, Mizana. Welcome to the stream. Uh, PS4 will get Bedrock eventually. Just don't rush them. Do not rush them. They completely butchered the Xbox release of Bedrock and the Switch release of Bedrock. And all the other Bedrock platforms too, so like, yeah, just don't rush them. Give them time. You don't want to get what the Xbox players got. That was, that was harsh. And you don't want what the Switch players currently have, because that was really harsh too. When they try and rush things, they just butcher it. Just saying. Uh, we only speak English here, please. That way we can all be on the same page and know what we're all talking about. Nothing against other languages or anything. We just like to know what each other is saying. Uh, so what do we need? We need a couple bits of something. I came in here for something and now I forget. Grass. That was it. I have so much of this stuff. I need to get rid of it. So let's do that exact thing. Hello, it's me. Thank you very much for the host. So yeah, after the last of like, you know, six or so streams that we've done, we've actually gotten a significant amount of progress done on this village. And we're really getting like very, very close to uh, completing this entire thing. You are on your lonesome. Where did your, where did your guys go? They fall down there and die. <laughs> I bet you there'll be some items down here. Huh. Where did that guy's trader llama go? And where the traitor himself go? <laughs> That's kind of weird. 
Not sure what to think about that. Hit him down. I kind of want to, yeah. Come on, you. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. Oh, he didn't even die from that. What the hell? What? There's no way he didn't die from that. Absolutely no way. That is a cursed llama. That is like 40 blocks down. Maybe not 40. But that's far enough to kill a llama. You know what I'm saying. What the hell? <laughs> Was not expecting that. <laughs> Who are you and what did you do with my trading llamas? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Was not expecting that at all. But okay, I guess that's what I get for uh, punching him off. This was Sparta. But man, he, man. <laughs> Strange. Okay, there's a lot of things happening in the chat. Uh, I tried to spam emotes too much, but Relic, thank you very much for subscribing for two months in a row. That's awesome of you, dude. I do appreciate it. Also, Wicket, I told you this last stream, dude. Don't spam chat. You're gonna get timed out again. Please. Jeez. <laughs> Do we have any more slime? We don't. This farm is doing amazingly. Okay, so moving on from that. We don't really need the dead bushes over here. Uh, we can go ahead and throw some of these things into this box. Simply because we need inventory space. And that's a good way of getting it. Shulker boxes are amazing. Yes, too many emotes. Great respect for the llama. I know, that's a crazy llama. I'm still not over that. That guy's just like down there. He's just like, yeah, I'm the boss around here. You can't mess with me. This is Sparta. Pfft. I got feather falling a hundred. And I can shoot spit a thousand blocks right into your eyeball. Not even your eyeball, right into your retina. And nobody can fight that llama. Don't mess with that llama. <laughs> and I thought those llamas were weak before, but now I'm like, oh man, I got some newfound respect for those llamas. These guys know how to survive. I can respect that. <laughs> they know what's up. They got some dark magic secrets. And I'm not sure if I trust them. <laughs> That's so stupid. He threw off his groove. Oh, man. <laughs> the llama will despawn eventually? Maybe. And yeah, the lag is pretty real today. I don't know what it is. I'm going to blame Prowl because, like, he's online. So, I mean, he's just, you know. W why not? <laughs> but yeah, lag is for real. I mean, look at that. It takes, like, a solid second for the item to appear and then, like, another two seconds for it to fall. It's bad. We're, we are attempting to move over to a dedicated server, and uh, Foxy no -Tail is working on that as well. I think he's working on that with Slack. So yeah, once we get that, I think everything will be way nicer, and I think there will be a lot more activity and content coming out of Truly Bedrock once we get that going. It's like dedicated server. What? Oh, right. The, the day-night cycle is also lagging. So if we look at the sun... That should teleport back upwards. I'm keeping my cursor at the very top of the sun. And we should see that teleport up. Maybe. Yep, there it goes. Look at that. Bam! It went up like, you know, half an inch on the screen. <laughs> ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Realms, realms are the best. Uh, Dcraft, thank you very much for the follow and for the host as well. And hello, Liar, welcome. Hope you're doing well today. We're just complaining about the lag. Yeah, pretty, pretty typical. <laughs> anyway, let's go take a nap because clearly something needs to help out the, this day night cycle. It's gonna take like 20 minutes for it to become daytime again if we let it go. Just like normally? Yeah. Daylight savings is real. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> Fair. Science. Oh, be okay. He's already sleeping. Well, I'm going to sleep too. 
No worries, you finally got back on yesterday and the block lad made you cry. Oof, yeah. I feel ya. I feel ya. Everything is bad right now. Like, I was eating food for like a minute straight and it just did not heal. Can we do that right now? Oh yeah, look at that. There it goes. There it goes again. Three pieces. That's not nearly as bad as it was, though. He's got a pet duck. Oh, ducks are pretty cool. I like ducks. You should send a little picture of it in the Discord. Is it like an adult duck or is it a baby duck? Because baby ducks are just like way too adorable. And I gotta see it. Uh, right now we got Prowl. Clearly the cause of all the lag. Slack and BJ as well. Yeah. Prowl. Why would I take damage from that? Yeah. This game. Game is weird. I should probably get a few jack-o'-lanterns in here somewhere and then just like put on a little bit of lighting, but meh, not too worried about it. Between Slack and Prowl, yeah, pretty much, yeah. I'm just, I'm just accepting it at this point. <laughs> Hello, Ghast. You're a guy. Let's put down some lily pads as well. We have too many of these things. You think that gas is gonna shoot at us? I think he will. Oh, we got stupid sleep. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Did you guys see the elytra? That was. <laughs> uh, okay. Yep. More bugs. I try not to talk about the bugs too much. Like, I know I already talk about them a lot, but I'm actively trying to ignore them and not talk about them. Because if you do talk about them and, and you want to talk about them, you can talk about them for hours. It's just non-stop, you know? Non-stop bugginess. That looks really weird as well. Ah, we shall have lily pads everywhere. Many lily pads. Many. It is very weird looking. You're just saying the you just saw the post on YouTube and you came over ASAP? Very nice. I'm glad the you know posts on YouTube actually do something. Because that justifies me posting them. <laughs> the lag is real right now. Oh really? <laughs> hashtag hashtag flame prowl. Yep. Yeah. Oh really prowl? I, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> definitely had it noticed nope definitely wasn't talking about that for like the last 20 minutes <laughs> oh and slack's not even afk i see how it is okay yep welcome to realms okay we need to fill in this thing as well uh maybe not fill it in but like cover it up We can cover this up just fine. It does look a little bit weird having this uh, thing right here. Uh, no, I don't really play modded, but I am playing a little bit of Funcraft with Eagle Fam. Just a little bit. I'm not really like versed in modded, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but it is pretty fun. You know, it's completely different. It's certainly a fascinating experience because you just don't know what you're gonna get yourself into. There's so many things and each of those things is brand new and it's uh, it's very fascinating. Like we found some mob spawners that summoned boss mobs. So we had like a spider with like 30 different effects that gives you blindness and slowness and poison and all kinds of stuff when you attack it. And it regenerated health as well. I'm very glad it didn't have fire resistance because we would not have killed it without a lava bucket. <laughs> it's it's very weird. There's like a boss creeper as well. I don't know what ended up happening to him, but I assume explosions. If you guys are interested, we could actually uh, live stream a little bit of Funcraft as well, since we are allowed. 
Uh, so if you guys want to try something out new, try something new out one of these days, um, we could totally do that. I'd be down for it. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I would probably be able to do something. Maybe? You can probably walk around in circles. That shouldn't take too much effort. <laughs> uh, no, we're just trying to make a dedicated server, not a Java server. You can have servers on Bedrock. It's just that they aren't really um, the best thing in the world. But then again, realms are like the worst thing in the world. So, I mean, hey, it balances out. <laughs> it does balance out. Okay, I need some more leaves. Leaves! Uh, let me read some of the chat here, see what you guys think about Funcraft. Oh yeah, Eagle's awesome. For reals. Very fun person to hang out with. And... Do, 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 do. Some of you guys would love to see that. That's cool. I don't really see any, like, no's. You shouldn't do fun craft, so maybe we'll try it out one day. I'll probably run, like, a poll on Twitter um, to do that. Or maybe in the Discord as well. Maybe on YouTube. I don't know. We could also do polls here on... Oh, wait. Do we have polls? Hmm. Did they remove the option for doing polls? Remember that a couple weeks ago, we had the option to run like a poll in chat? That was very convenient. I'm not sure what happened to that. But yeah, we could do one of those as well. Because again, right now is kind of like the perfect time to try out different things while Bedrock Edition is just completely broken. <laughs> May as well. Funcraft is a boo. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. Yes, I'm sure there are spirits, inspectors, and ghosts. I know it's not Spooktober anymore, but like spookiness is good. Come on now. Pulls. Pulls. Yeah, pulls are good. And yes, Funcraft is a Java Edition mod pack, and it's uh it's a pretty fun time. Again, I don't know what I'm doing, but like was fun. I think the mistake I made with modded was trying to figure out modded while also doing skyblock at the same time <laughs> and having never done skyblock before. So that really slowed down progression. Oh look at that, very convenient way to just hop over the wall. Maybe we won't have that. So, yeah, I mean, Funcraft is, you know, just in, like, a standard uh, world, obviously with, like, custom biomes and generation and stuff. Uh, but it's definitely not as much of a grind to get started and get going. Do I have more leaves? Yay! Oh, look at that, they're definitely gonna hop over there as well. We don't want that. No! Yeah, Skyblock is always slow. We tried that out about maybe like a year and a half ago or something. I'm not entirely sure uh, the timing of when we tried out Skyblock modded. It was Sky Factory 3 that we tried. Um, but it was fun. I, again, just had no idea what I was doing and like it was slow. <laughs> not the best place to learn. What is my favorite farm? Uh, probably raid farms. Raid farms are pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I think that that is the decoration for the outside wall done. We went ahead and added a whole bunch more leaves, just kind of tidied it up in areas. And then there was also something over here that we wanted to fix. It's also the scaffolding. I don't know what's up with this, but this has been here for a while. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get rid of all of this stuff. I don't know why there's a block down here either. Like. You could have just filled in the block itself. Meh. <laughs> oh, hi, that's a spawner. What spawner is that? Oh, I can't see what mob it is. Oh, well, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind. There's nothing else down here, though. Oh, and it's just, okay. 
Oh, going all the way up. That's fine. Whatever. Where's this go? No idea. I certainly did not tunnel down here. Am I an AI? Sure, why not? Because that means that I'm intelligent. And I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> why not? Why not? Okay, filled that thing in because it was just kind of ugly. And no one shall ever know that there was ever a cave there. <laughs> oh yeah, we can also go ahead and make this path going over to this area as well. Uh, these markers have been here for a while and this just goes to uh, BJ's little like starter hobbit hole thingy. I guess, there's not actually that much over here to fill it around, is there? Uh, yeah, all of this is probably just from the very early days. We can probably just cover over these ravines and make it look a lot nicer. And also, that's all the dirt and stuff from their little project. How nice of them. And then there's also this little, like... Um, dang it. Yeah, gotta eat. There's also this, like, little area right here where we can make a little boat dock as well. So that could be cool. There's a lot of different things that we can do. And finally, we stopped eating. Okay, good. So what do we want to work on? Do we want to work on that path of this little boat dock? Or do we want to work on the inside of the village? Let me know in chat what you're most interested in. So it's all going to get done eventually. It's just the order that matters. Whatever you guys want to do. And then we can throw away this dirt and stuff as well. No longer need that. And then we probably don't need the sandstone stuff either. Thank you, sandstone. You did your job valiantly. Twas nice of you. Okay, what do we got going on, chat? Everybody wants to do the boat dock. You guys like boats? That's weird. You guys are weird. <laughs> uh, but lucky for you, we actually have many, many boats. So let's grab out a few of these guys and then we'll throw something together, shall we? Uh, let's actually go ahead and take a look at the uh, building that we already have on the dock over there. Because of course, Loy did like a whole bunch of work over here. I think he used like birch. Yeah, he did use birch. And that's oak and that's a cha-cha. And that's dark oak and then we have spruce. So as long as we don't build out of like jungle wood, we'll match something. <laughs> uh, this is, this is oak, isn't it? Yeah, that's oak. So maybe we build it out of oak. And then with spruce highlights, maybe? Or maybe we should do, eh, I don't know. Yeah, let's do oak and spruce. Sounds like the best idea. And Fuse Joker, thank you very much for the biddies. That is many, many biddies. <laughs> thank you so much, man. Welcome to the stream as well. And then also I've missed many other notifications. Uh, thank you very much for the follow as well, Fused. And Piggy and Tiger and King Alex. Thank you all very much for the follows as well. Uh, Bib, Javius, uh, Transparent Echo. No way, I'm, I'm getting these messed up. But yeah, thank you all very much for the for the follows and then transparent and king. Thank you for the hosts and angry PewDiePie. Thank you for the host as well. Many hosts. All my notifications are getting mixed up. <laughs> and was that everything? Infused Joker. Thank you very much for subscribing with your prime as well. You're doing all the things. Jeez. <laughs> thank you so much, man. That's awesome of you. Show some love in the chat for Fused. Oh, do we actually have any oak? Hold on. Oh, we have like 38. Oh, okay, well that, that might be enough. That might be enough, because it's going to be probably a pretty small boat dock. Probably, and then we'll probably put like a robot over there as well. Hmm. Hmm. You also sound a bit tired. 
Uh, well, it's just that time of year. Also, my mic is a little bit in a weird position. I have been trying to change up my sleep schedule, so yeah, probably to sound a little bit different, but hopefully it's not too noticeable. Uh, but yeah, daylight savings. Daylight savings is what did it. Losing an hour, going back an hour? <laughs> not particularly helpful when you're trying to change your sleep schedule and, you know, sleep less and get up earlier. So that you can actually get more done in the day, because man, I got so much stuff to do. I do like a lot of things. Uh, many, many things behind the scenes as well. Five videos a week, four streams, putting the four streams on YouTube as well. That takes some preparation work. And then all the stuff in the discords, whitelisting. Somehow managing to breathe. <laughs> a lot of stuff does get done. It takes time. Does Canada lose an hour? Um, I'm not sure. I have no idea. Although the Canadians are nice, I'm sure they'd probably answer if you asked them. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and rip this out a little bit more. Oh, hi, where'd you come from? Oh, it's a baby one as well. Oh, look at the cute little baby one. Oh, he's so cute. This is the third one. So many drowns. It's a whole family of dead drowned people. <laughs> And Minus Acrobats, thank you very much for resubscribing for 14 months. That is a long time. Jeez, man. Welcome back to another stream as well. We're glad to have you. Uh, let's go ahead and actually put some of these blocks back down. We need to get out the building box. And then put down the shulkers so we actually know what we're building with. I think what I'll do is I'll grab a little bit of this. And then maybe we will end up building the dock out of a chat chat. That way it just like matches the whole thing, you know? That might be the best idea. What do you guys think? Should we use uh, a chat chat and spruce or should we use uh, spruce and oak? What are you doing, chicken? You're weird. It's a weird chicken. I don't trust him. You're from Alberta. You gained an hour. Oh, we lost an hour on the West Coast. Strange. Yeah, that is a long time. <laughs> it's crazy how, like, how quickly some things go by. Like, I think we just got affiliate, like, just a couple years ago. And then a couple people already have subs in, like, the 20-month range. It's ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. I should probably go ahead and redo some of the sub badges because now there's actually like a quite a few people that have like super long subs and uh, Give them a little bit something special if you know what I mean. We need some cha-cha over here a cha-cha <laughs> A cha-cha and oak ah. See you later Keegan. Thank you very much for stopping by the stream. Have yourself a good night. Okay, let's go ahead and expand this and we'll make it like have uh, kind of like two forks. We'll have like a dock going out in that direction and then have like a dock in this direction as well. And then maybe we'll leave like a five block gap in between it. So that's going to be like one, two, three. So dock there, two, three. So dock there. So we'll continue this out. I've never really built a dock before, but we'll, we'll make this work. It's just gonna be like down in the water, cause you know what? Wood doesn't rot, let's abuse that factor. <laughs> it's not gonna rot. I probably should put it up a little bit off the water, but like, I, I need to be able to like actually get in and out of the boats. So if I have it above the water, I won't be able to like get out onto the dock which is kind of annoying so yeah we'll continue it down to about there maybe and then i guess we'll expand this waterway as well uh this shovel is definitely about to die <laughs> i can barely get out of the water even when it's only one deep yeah <laughs> uh, we really can't put that up much higher uh let's see I'm actually like almost completely out of shovels. 
I gotta go repair some tools. Look at that. We got five broken tools, a broken elytra, and a broken bow. Yikes. Ah. You just recently did a fundraiser. You made 18,000 cookies. That's a lot of cookies. Can I have one? That's, that's, that's a lot of cookies. Just the logistics of baking that many cookies. How do you even consume that many cookies? I have so many questions about this. Forget the fundraising part, just that's that's a lot of cookies. <laughs> Jeez, a GG guys. How big were the cookies? That's the most important question. Once I know the size of the cookie, I can get a rough estimate for the mass of cookie that was cooked. And then we can figure out how much time it took to cook the cookies. And then from there, I'll figure out how many ovens it took. Because I'm determined. Ah, curious. <laughs> That's so many cookies. What kind of cookies? Oh, never mind the size of the cookie. The, the kind of cookie is the most important question. Sorry. I'm, I'm getting my priorities mixed up. Look at that, water glitches. And a fuse. Thank you very much for gifting a sub to Little Dubbin as well. Very nice. Enjoy the frog thongs, Little Dubbin. Wait, is it Dubbin? No, it's Dibbin. Ah, words. Dibbin. Jeez. <laughs> words, names, not strong suit. Ah. Jeez. Okay, let's go ahead and Throw some things in there like that. We don't really need those blocks. Don't really need that one. Don't know where I got the scaffolding from. So yeah, we'll expand the waterways over here a little bit and then we will uh, just kind of make up these docks a little bit better. And yes, I'm gonna mine this with a pickaxe. You can't stop me. Ah. Okay, so yeah, something like that. We'll expand the waterway over here, which we just did. And I said that like four times. Just wanna make sure you guys know what I'm doing. And then maybe we'll have like some little pillars and piers and stuff. And I really do need some more chat chat, don't I? Let's go grab a stack of that then. I still have a bunch of a chat chat left over from Zap. Uh, yes, Iron Farms is still working 1.13. It's just that the stacked Iron Farms no longer work because of reasons. Milk for the cookies? Mmm. Nom nom. <laughs> Uh, you did chocolate chip, monster cranberry, chocolate chip, macadamia. Ooh, those are pretty good. Macadamias are like super expensive though. Uh, raspberry shortbread. Wow, that's a good selection of cookies there. What was the uh, the fundraising for? Also, Captain Bat Sloth. I gotta say that one slowly so I don't butcher it. <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing and welcome to the Soylents. Enjoy the frog thonks. And the frog things. Mwahaha. <laughs> Thank you all very much for the subs tonight. That is already like a bunch of subs. You guys are crazy. We're actually slowly approaching 200 uh, subs, which is ridiculous. If you are a subscriber here on Twitch, make sure that you join the Discord servers. That way you can get all your rewards and your benefits and your stuff like that. Because I post spoilers and we also invite you guys to the community events that we do as well. And we should be having another community event sometime in the next couple of weeks. I just need to uh, sit down, get a date going for it. And stuff like that. We're trying to figure out the next date for uh, the next Truly Bedrock stream day. And also another Truly Bedrock event as well. So once we got those two things figured out, I can plan a community event. It'll be good. Your favorite cookie is double stuffed golden Oreo. I've never had one of those. I've only had the basic Oreos. Only ever had the basic Oreos.
Okay, so uh, now that we kind of have a basic foundation of this done, let's go ahead and remove this guy and this guy. Yeah, it looks garbage at the moment. I'm aware you don't have to tell me and make me feel bad about it. Jeez. Maybe I want it to look like garbage. <laughs> uh, no, I don't show dupe glitches. Duping is terrible and you shouldn't do it because it ruins realms and economies and servers and takes all the fun out of it. But yeah, I'm sure there is a couple. Because there always is. Okay, so now that we got that done, let's go ahead and put in a few pillars. Uh, probably, and this location would be one of them. One right here as well. And then maybe like another one right here. All right, how wide are we making these things? Probably more than two wide would be good. weird <laughs> yeah try to behave in the chat if you can behavior is a good thing <laughs> we'll put another pillar there and probably there as well okay so that is kind of the foundations of it we can add some fences here and there we can add some uh, gates as well and then also the boats too Again, I've never really done this kind of thing, but we're trying. We am is trying. I kind of want that boat, thank you. So I suppose we can have, we can actually have boats in a lot of places. We can actually go all the way down the center here. That's cool. Maybe we'll have like an escape ve vehicle, just like ready to go. This will be our escape vehicle. For when everything goes bad, this will be where we go. <laughs> Straight on out. And then we'll have like a boat there as well. Boat there. Oh, you know what we can do? Oh, we can go get some leads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, I got ideas. I know what I'm doing. Bear with me. Why are you here? Go away. Yeah, we can put leads on boats and then we can actually attach them to the, uh, the dock. Make them look like they're actually, like, tied down. That'll be amazing. Ideas. Ideas is good. We still have a lot of work to do in the laboratory as well, but, um... We're certainly getting there with the actual main village. <laughs> the one health point, two power on Verdi, if that's how you say your name, and Epic and BXTZA. Thank you all so much for the follows. Welcome to the Soylents. I hope you're doing well today. Sorry if I butchered your name. That is my job, and I do it extremely well. Okay, so we'll put like a little tie down right there. And then you tie down your boat. <laughs> Keep it from drifting away. Oh, that's so adorable. Oh, we can't really put boats on this side. We gotta expand that out a little bit. Just to make room for all of these guys. One of those right there. Go ahead and get another boat. Oh, do I not have enough boats? Oh, that's fine. It doesn't need to be perfectly even, I suppose. I like pickles. Thank you very much for the host. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> you have a dock in your world and you never thought to do that, and now you want to go leave the stream to build it? Well, how dare you? Jeez. You're not allowed to go anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, it is kind of a decent idea, isn't it? You can do some fun stuff with the boat leads. Uh, you might even be able to tie one boat to another. No, I don't think you will be able to. But you should be able to. Because it would make sense. You can have like a whole group of boats. You can have a llama caravan. Why can't you have a boat caravan? 
Cheese. Okay then. So not too shabby. We need to wait for all that grass to, gr to grow back in, but otherwise, I think this is actually coming along fairly okay. Uh, we need to go ahead and get some lanterns down here as well. That way it looks a little bit better. Uh, we should have lanterns in this box. Only three of them because of course we can't have nice things. We need like a fourth one and we need like 20,000 more after that. Cool. I guess we'll put away some of these materials then. So we can go make some lanterns. Oh yeah, boat with chest, then link them together. That would be very convenient. It would be nice, wouldn't it? And on that same note, it'd be nice to just have like, you know, minecart caravans. Like that's actually a legitimately good use for the furnace minecart, which we just don't have on Bedrock Edition. Just don't have a furnace minecart. Really stupid. It would be legitimately helpful as well at times. Like we've actually needed one before. Uh, lanterns. Doo, 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 doo. And go ahead and churn those into nuggets, turn those into lanterns, and those into nuggets. These things are expensive. <laughs> they give us like this super nice thing, but it costs iron. And then they break all the iron farms. Rah. A furnace minecart would be nice. They got it on Java, it's just like not here on console or on Legacy. I'd, I'd be freaking bedrock. Rah. Words. Okay, so we got some lanterns. We might even place a couple more elsewhere. And then maybe we can put some more like mooring points as well. Because when you're on like an actual dock, there's always like tons of places to tie down the boat. Usually anyway. Unless they're being stingy. Yeah, we have tons of places to tie them down. Uh, what else can we add to this? Maybe a little bench somewhere. It's kind of not like enough room for it though, is there? Maybe we can add like a little, eh, I don't know. You'd have to add it like in the middle of the dock. This would need to be like five wide if we wanted to add a bench. Add a plank. <laughs> you guys are all just talking about snowy or snow, but it's snowy or snow, it's not that special. Jeez. I know it's winter time now, but don't worry. Snow or snow isn't a thing in real life. You you don't have to worry. You'll be fine. We'll all survive. We'll all survive. You don't have to worry about the snow or snow. Not this year. A fishing spot. I was thinking about adding an armor stand with like a fishing rod. We could do that. That might be pretty legit. Except now we gotta go grab an armor stand. So let's grab one of these guys. We'll go ahead and put a fishing rod on them. Do we have one? Uh, we can make one. Hopefully, yeah, we got the materials for that. Cool. It'd be kind of sad if we didn't. And then maybe we should give him a little bit of armor as well. Right. Just pants. Nothing else. Or maybe a helmet, too. Maybe a pumpkin head. Oh, yeah, we got pumpkins. Snowiest snow. It's gonna be, yeah. Minecraft is gonna have the snowiest snow since snow. But you ain't gotta worry about it. It's fine. Ain't gotta worry about it. That ghast really loves to fire at us, doesn't it? Oh my god, just let me out of the water. <laughs> this is why I made the, the dock one block deep.
Just pants. Okay, uh, well, that's not the right kind of pumpkin. Whatever, just pants. That's all he needs. Just pants. <laughs> He's kind of cute. Just one armor stack. Maybe we'll get, maybe we'll get like, one more over there. And then maybe we'll, uh, carve a couple of these. Yeah. Yeah, just one seems a little bit lonely. Just a tiny bit lonely. Oh, we also need to build a robot out there as well. What does a fishing robot look like? I have no idea. You made an account for Twitch just to be here? Well, welcome to the stream. We're glad to have you. Hope you're doing good tonight. I actually do have a melon and pumpkin farm. It uses a flying machine. And it works pretty well. I do approve. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? We need another armor stand. Grab one of them. And then I suppose we need to make a couple more sticks as well. One, two, and three of those. Get another two of those guys. And then we need the correct kind of pumpkin, which is like a carved one. Do we even have any of those? We got one. Meh. Fine. And, uh, okay. <laughs> We really got to stretch it for this one to work. <laughs> Inventory management. Invest in it. Throw those seeds up there. I need to like get some more pumpkins. Look at this. I got, I got seven pumpkins to my name. Only seven. Only seven. Do we have any more pants? Uh, preferably not like super good pants. Tell me I got some pants in here somewhere. He's gotta be wearing at least some pants, come on. Blast protection three and breaking three sounds perfect. <laughs> so many rockets just to get over here, jeez. The sugarcane uh, the sugarcane farm today is just a heart and like a kappa. Okay. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Maybe a little bit too much. Jeez. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's actually like one of the perfect poses. Uh, not that one. Not that one. Nope. 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 That one. There we go. And then you get ahead as well. There you go. Look at that. We got some cute fisher guys over there. They're being adorable. They're just kind of fishing. They're just doing their thing. And now we need to make a... Uh... We need to make a fishing robot. How do you make a fishing robot? I don't know. Clean my inventory? Well, why would I do that though? It's much funner to not do that. Yeah, you can now use capes as long as you're not using a custom skin. So like this one isn't custom. Uh, it's the one from the first birthday pack, so I got the little party hat. Uh, this is my actual custom skin right here. And this one I can use a cape with. So they force you to use the marketplace in order to have... Yeah. Meh. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and get out the redstone box. We're going to make a little... Little armed guard over here. For these guys. All right, we're gonna need a couple of stone cutters as well. We need hoppers. We have those guys. We'll go ahead and get one of them. A couple repeaters, maybe a couple pistons. Uh, stone cutters is what we need. Stone cutters. We should probably build this guy like right here. So maybe we push the path back and stuff like this. It's not like super obstructing the way. And then one of those right there. Bloop. And then we'll go ahead and add in one of them and one of them. Oh, wait. Yeah. I need to... Oh, well, I guess it depends on what version we're building. I think we're just building the one with pistons as arms. 
So we just need pistons right there and right there. Cool. I guess then we don't really need the hoppers, do we? Not too shabby. Get away with a couple extra hoppers. That's always good. Put some buttons on the front of these guys. Maybe we'll make one of those a sticky piston as well, just to give this guy a little bit of variety. He's got some moss growing on him, okay? Can you blame him? He's next to the docks. Everything has moss growing it, growing on it. Also get a couple repeaters. And then we need to get like the, the foot for the guy. And we also need to get a little antenna for the top and an iron trapdoor for the front. Your marketplace says no internet. Well, it might be a good idea to invest in internet. <laughs> so many mobs always get stuck right there. It's so stupid. They always get stuck right there. Yep, face reveal 10 million. Definitely not sarcasm, totally real, and definitely not a long running joke. Uh, what did I come in here for? I came in here for a couple things. One of them, one of those, and a stone cutter of sorts. Grab one of those guys, cool. And then that'll be our little robot done. Please skin my inventory. No, not gonna do it. Rah. <laughs> oh, right. Of course, we gotta do that. And then get down here so we can place that little wheel. Boop. There we go. Look at him. He's adorable. He's so adorable. Put a little antenna on the guy, too. Yeah. Look at that. Cutie. You know he's adorable. You can't lie. Nobody can resist the adorableness of these guys. But don't try and hug them. They'll, they'll, they'll like punch off your entire head. For reals, don't mess with them. <laughs> Beep boop, Observatron 3006 activated. Absolutely. Glad you're enjoying the content, Tokum, and welcome token and welcome to the stream i cannot say words <laughs> but yeah hopefully you're doing good today go ahead and break these things down a little bit as well just need to get some path blocks in this area and then i guess that'll be that little thing done won't it little doc could probably use a little bit more detail but you know what that is not my job. Technically is, but I'm gonna just shrug those responsibilities. And then we got a little robot. We got a couple guys fishing, a little escape boat. Yeah, it's looking pretty decent actually. Very simple, but I think it works. I think it works. <laughs> yeah, I did do a hand reveal at 100K. You can see that on YouTube, it's still out there. Nothing particularly amazing, but yeah, hey, it's it's a hand. In fact, actually, I, I retract that statement. It's a beautiful thing. Absolutely the best hand that you've ever seen in your entire life. Uh, when I first started my channel, how many subs did I actually expect to have by 2020? Um, I don't know. I started in like... I started in 2016? Has it really already been four years? Oh my god. Hold on. Let me check the actual YouTube page real quick. When when did I open the channel? Hold on. YouTube about page. I think, yeah, May 22nd, 2016 is when I started the channel. Uh, so... 2017, 2018, 2019? It's been three years. It's nearly been four years. Wow. I've wasted so much of my life. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know. I know year one, I wanted to have a thousand. And then year two, 10,000. And then things were already kind of slow. Um, at the I, For the year of 2019, I expected to get to about 30,000. So from 12,000. 
thousand to about thirty. That was, that was my projected uh, trajectory, and I was happy with that. But as you can see, we've clearly got a little bit overboard. Now we're at like a hundred thirty thousand, so that's kind of a few. <laughs> I don't know why you're all here. I'm clearly not doing anything. But, hi. <laughs> Three and a half years, yeah. Four years next year. April, May, yeah, I guess, yeah. Three and a half. That's ridiculous. Four years. I wonder where we'll be, where we will be by then. Because we're likely going to break 150k this year. That seems reasonable. Uh, we only need to, like, you know, get another 20k for that. That seems pretty reasonable. And then, yeah, next year could be ridiculous. Who even knows? Check the eggs. Oh yeah, we should do that. How rude. <laughs> That's my job. My job is supposed to be rude. I wonder how many eggs we've gotten. We probably don't have that many. Although we have kind of been loading the area for a while, so I guess we'll see. Whoop. Right, eggs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. More chickens! Two more chickens, three more chickens, four more chickens. Uh, four from 16 isn't bad. That's a 25% chicken rate. That's not too shabby. Five new chickens. Six new chickens. I only got two chickens from that 16. Yeah, six more chickens. I'm not really that surprised. I mean, we are literally throwing eggs against a wall and just like expecting a baby chicken to pop out. So, yeah. <laughs> not too surprised that you don't really get that many. By 2030. Oof. Dude, I don't even want to think about 2030. That's like a while from now. Ugh, no. No thanks. 2020 already sounds like the future enough. I don't need to think about 2030. <laughs> Can we just focus on 2020 first? Okay, I think that that is this area over here done. I've certainly walked around in circles long enough talking about random things. Uh, so I'll call that one a nice little done area. And then we can move on to the other projects that we need to do as well. Nice little side path going around here. Throwing eggs at the wall, yeah. That's totally not obvious at all. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and just break that. Oh, this entire thing is just random hollow. Random, random hole. That's why you fill in holes, that way you don't find them later. Oh no, I need one more. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, give me you. Yoink. And then we're just gonna put you right there. And then... Yoink. There we go. Cool. That's that done. So the outer wall and the dock is now done. Uh, we have two areas inside of the village that now need decoration. Let's go ahead and put away the inventory real quick. And then take a nap as well. And then we should be fine. Uh, only the advanced raid farm is currently broken. The other raid farms still work just fine. Also, Tiger Claw and R. Gibson, thank you guys very much for the biddies. Sorry that I missed those. Uh, let me read those real quick if I can. My notifications get cut off a little bit. Oh, that was what I read earlier. Okay, I just didn't thank you for the bits. <laughs> and also, Exhale, thank you very much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Soylence. You now have the power of frog things. Use it responsibly. With great power comes great responsibility. To not abuse the frog things. <laughs> and also a whiterish? I think that's how you say your name. I've never known. But thank you very much for the biddies as well. Many biddies! Many, many. All right, that's not actually the proper box, is it? We can take everything out of there. Put that stuff away real quick. 
throw it into there. This is a multi-item sorter, but at the same time, like, it's kind of really slow. <laughs> And then we can throw these guys into that box. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Perhaps, I don't know. Where the lanterns go? They, they go in that one. And I made like 50 lanterns. Good, I need those. <laughs> Pick up that one as well. And then grass, don't really need that. Okay, so the other two projects that we need to work on in the village have to do with the decoration of areas. So there is honestly not that much that we need to do. The only things that we really need to do are clean up this area right next to the building. So this right here needs to be turned into something. I was thinking that we could turn it into like a cactus farm of sorts. Uh, mostly just like for looks because we have a whole bunch of other plants and gardens around the village. So like we got the, you know, wheat farms. We got the lilac and cornflower farm over here. We got sunflowers. We got, you know all the different flowers everywhere. But we don't have cactuses, and cactuses are cute and adorable, and they deserve some respect, so I think we'll put like a cactus area over here. Why not? <laughs> Can't believe it's not butter. I know, right? It's because it's not butter. <laughs> and they, uh, they really, the Riley. I know I've butchered your name before. Thank you for the host and for the biddies. The Riley. I think that's how you said I should say it. I don't know. I'm gonna go with it. Confidence. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go ahead and harvest these potatoes as well. I need more different food in my life. Different food is a nice thing. And then maybe for this upper area, we'll go ahead and turn this into uh, like a proper potato farm. And then this one over here can be like a proper wheat farm as well because it is like a good idea to have actual wheat farms and actual crop farms we have these kinds of farms elsewhere but they're mostly just for like show they don't actually function or produce food <laughs> uh the next farms that are coming up on the channel will likely be a new trident killer just because literally everybody's asking for it so it may as well and then after that, Creeper Farm, and then I got just so many plans, just so many things. It's like, you know, 40 things on my video list that I, that I need to do. <laughs> I have so many videos to make. Uh, if only days were like 40 hours long, I'd be able to get so much done. Yeah, looting, uh, no, not looting, the Fortune 3 works on crops. That's how we just got all of this stuff. Would recommend. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this right here the little base of operations for this entire endeavor. And then we'll just try and get this all tidied up. Uh, do we have any cacti? That's actually a good question. We have 11, okay. Uh, let's get these guys planted down and then uh, We'll just continually harvest them over the next, you know, little while as we're working on this 40 hours would be crazy Yeah, I mean give it like a couple I'm not sure how long it might be like a couple hundred thousand years, but slowly but surely uh, Earth's rotation will be slowed down thanks to the moon so over time, the days will be getting longer. And that's also part of the reason why we have like, you know, leap seconds and stuff like that. Just to account for all the different movements in the world and the universe and the galaxy. <laughs> oh wait, I could just plant this literally on the path, couldn't I? Yes, I could, hold on, yeah. <laughs> I'm wasting time placing down sand. We have orange sand in the path. We can just plant it on that. So one right there. One right there, one right there. <laughs> so stupid. I love it though. Save me some time. <laughs> uh, where else can we plant one? We can't plant them next to like things. 
But I just need to like be able to harvest these every now and again. So I can get some more. That'll work. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, I love it though. Yes. Yeah, the world is a very fascinating place. There's so many things that we take for granted. So many things that we take for granted. Okay, so how do we want to do this? I think we go ahead and we just tear out everything and then we just build it up. Just build it up from scratch. Generally works easier than trying to figure stuff out. With your existing infrastructure. We struggled with that like all last stream. Oh my God, let me out of the water, for real. I just want to get out of the water. I don't want to swim either. I didn't press control or run or anything. Meh. Oh, space is amazing. If you haven't like spent some time learning about all the amazing stuff in space, uh, would recommend if you like know absolutely nothing, and that's totally fine. Uh, Crash Course on YouTube has an amazing astronomy series and I would recommend it. They go pretty in depth on all the different kinds of amazing things you can find out in the solar system. No, uh, in the universe, they, they go a lot further than the solar system. <laughs> but yeah, there's so much crazy stuff out there. Uh, there's also SciShow Space, which does a lot of really awesome videos on space news and different discoveries. Uh, where is our brown box? Calling it the brown box sounds sounds bad, doesn't it? it sounds like a Tiz Tom thing. <laughs> let's get some potatoes over here. And let's try and make this be a little bit more decorative. Get some leaves. We do need a little bit of ice. Oh, look at that being prepared. Cool beans. Do we have any dirt? We have a little bit. What do I think about Elon? Oh, he's amazing. We need like 15 more of him, please. Can I get that express delivered to Earth? For real. That, that man is amazing. <laughs> he's doing so much for all of humanity. And like, nobody seems to care. And everybody's always like, ah, I don't know. People always want to tear down the good guys. He's not perfect, of course, nobody is, but certainly one of the best. Uh, humans that we got. Certainly is. I can't even start to list like all the amazing stuff that he's doing. There's literally too much. <laughs> uh, farmers are overzealous for picking up crops. Yeah, they, they fixed it so that they would actually pick them up. But now they might be a little bit overkill on the picking up edge. Okay, uh, what do we do for our gardens on this side? Because I'm feeling like we should mix in some coarse dirt. And also path blocks, apparently. Yeah, I just kind of like this ruined style. I like it. We also need to get lighting. Lighting is a thing that I always forget about. What are humans? Uh, generally very, very bad for the planet that they inhabit. You might not know, but we're currently going through a mass extinction, which is directly caused by humans. So that's nice. I forget the exact name of it because I'm bad with words, but yeah, it's a thing. You can look it up. <laughs> we are the main cause of the sixth, sixth mass extinction on Earth. And usually, you know, it takes like, why would the, why the hell is there a cat down there? Hold on, jump scaring me like that. <laughs> what? <laughs> How long has that cat been down there? Uh, while getting carried away talking about mass extinctions. BAM! There's a cat. <laughs> oh my god. Th that's not something that you expect. Also x-rays. <laughs> uh, okay. There's that. Uh, you're a nerd. Because of Cup Fan many years ago, you follow the NASA channel. Yeah, NASA's pretty awesome too. They're doing a lot of good stuff. Where did I get my skin from? Uh, I think Zloy sent me this Pigman skin. Actually, this one's from the Marketplace, uh, specifically. But uh, the Pigman skin, Zloy sent me that when I was on to Vanilla. 
I could never decide on what I wanted to do for like a Minecraft skin. So he was just like, you're being a pig man. Your profile picture is a pig man. You're being a pig man. Make it consistent. I was like, okay. He basically bullied me into being a pig man. I already had like a pig man profile picture. So it wasn't that bad, but like, yeah. Oh, no, stupid, that no, stupid, okay. Uh, that wasn't too bad, I guess. At least we didn't put the crops in. That stuff melted like instantly. Also, this blends in extremely well with the orange path. Like we could actually just add a couple of these in there and it would just look like natural. It'd be great. Also, all of these are the exact same shape and they're all facing the same direction. Uh, that's stupid. Let's maybe not have that. But yeah, science is amazing. If I can use my influence over all of you as an influencer, uh, which is a really stupid way of putting content creator, uh, I would say invest in science. Learn some more science. You might think it's above your head or too complicated, but honestly, it's really just fascinating. All the different things about reality and the things that happen in it. That's a terrible description and not very persuasive, but learn science, rah. Doesn't even really take that much effort. And then you'll be a smarter person and then you can brag about that to your friends and you'll be the smart guy in the group or, or girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, science. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've kind of gotten that in place, that looks a little bit, yeah, it's, it's, it's existing. What can I say? But yeah, something like that will be fine for the crops. Uh, we're just gonna have x-rays all around the place because 1.13 for the win. Yeah, yeah. And then I guess we'll just kind of blend this going over into the actual, uh, you know, wheat field as well. We'll just have this entire thing back here be for farming. Because why not? You can't stop me. I can't stop me. Nobody can stop me. Inertial property of matter. That's very difficult to read. Plays now. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and put in some water for these things all unhydrate themselves. Yeah, there we go, cool. One way, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just saying stuff and things and they appear to be coming out of my mouth, so that's good. Okay, so we also need to tilt over these things as well and then kind of fix up this side. And probably blend this down as well to make it actually blend in with all these other surrounding areas. Just a little bit. Do we have seeds? We have seeds in here, perfect. We probably won't harvest these lower areas, just kind of like leave them as is. And then this entire upper plateau right here will harvest and have be a nice proper thing. Then anywhere that we have a water source, I suppose we'll go ahead and throw in some lighting as well. We may as well just do that, have it be somewhat nice around here. And you know, more free x-rays. Why would you ever turn that down? Do I have an enchanted hoe? Yes, I do. It's got mending on it. You don't want your hose dying. Things are expensive. Dang it, I wanna place that right there. Thank you. Okay, then we need to put some more lighting over here as well. Slightly so pr slow process. I'm not sure how people manage to build so quickly. It's probably by not streaming as they build, but at the same time, that's like the funnest way to build because then you guys get to interact with it all as well. And you're like, no, Silent, that's an extremely stupid thing to do. You should do this instead. 
then I'm like, yeah, you're right. Why was I thinking about that? <laughs> but even when I'm not streaming, I'm just like a slow builder in general. I don't know how these people throw together like amazing things in no time flat. It's witchcraft, I swear. I swear to it. Uh, see you later, Ash. Thank you very much for stopping by the stream today. I do hope that you've had a good time. Maybe we'll see you later. And also, we've had a few new followers. Uh, Larson, Caesar, and Krogdor. That's kind of a cool name. I like it. And Peely, thank you all so much for the follows. Hopefully, I'm saying your names correctly. I'm probably not, but, you know, it's not surprising, is it? Cool, so there's all of that stuff. These guys are growing up a little bit. That's growing up a little bit. Everything is looking decent. We should get some bone meal in this area, and then everything can be a little bit good as well. Do I have any bone meal? I do. Right, then we also need to figure out this area as well. Probably uh, have a few things with sugarcane in it. Now, how do you say that name? Uh, JW, thank you very much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Please tell me. <laughs> but thank you so much for the support, dude. Was that about everything in this area? I think it was about everything. Throw in a few more bits of grass and maybe one or two more jack-o'-lanterns for lighting. And then I think we're good. Once these things actually grow up, they'll be much nicer looking. But for the time being, it's looking pretty proper. We need to kind of combine these two areas as well. So we'll just kind of mix in potatoes and wheat. Yeah, the tick rate is one on this realm. We are more or less a pure vanilla survival realm. Well, no, we are pure vanilla and uh, pure survival as well. However, we do have like a one player sleep thing. That's pretty much it. There's no real pronunciation, just random letters. Oh, well now you tell me, now that I've done butchered it, I swear. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Like, hold on, there, there can't be a way to pronounce that one, but I'm gonna try anyway. Uh, so many people do that, I swear, you guys are specifically trying to antagonize me with your names. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what it is, but Twitch, I don't know. The names that you see on Twitch, they're always the hardest to pronounce out of anywhere. Like, everybody with the weird names comes over here. <laughs> it's not necessarily a bad thing, it, it keeps it interesting, but man. You guys are stretching the limits of my pronunciation and dialect skills over here. I didn't invest my skill points into speech, okay? I put it all into derpiness. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for something, probably in the form of sugarcane. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Cool. And then I think we'll tear out a few little bits of this. Uh, maybe we'll go ahead and actually just flood this entire middle area. Wow, look at that water flow speed. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. It's not even flowing in. Ah. There we go. That should flood all of that. And then we'll go ahead and just put like random bits of grass in here for the uh, the sugar cane to grow on. And then anywhere that we don't want that, we'll just have leaves in there. Oh, we need some more leaves. Okay, let's go get some more leaves. Uh, I didn't set up the one player sleep thing. I believe Foxy No Tail did that. You can go watch his videos to learn how to do it or uh, ask him or watch his tutorial. I'm not sure. I haven't really made a one player sleep system because um, I don't really have a need to. For our realms, like, you know, Whispercraft or the patron realm that we run. Uh, we don't have one player sleep on them because having one player sleep on a public realm is basically a nightmare disaster and there is never any nighttime. It's just like constant daytime all the time. <laughs> just doesn't work on public. 
But for something that's more private, it uh, it works out fine. So it works fine on truly bedrock. Okay, so that should be about what we need for sugarcane. It's mildly interesting. We'll go ahead and throw in a few bits and bobs of lighting. Probably should have done this before we planted the sugarcane, but you know what? I am derpy. Hopefully there's enough light over here to like actually prevent spawns. If there's not, then we're gonna have some issues uh, with creepers. Creepers am not good. Do not like, they is bad. And they're gonna blow up everything. They've already blown up that nether portal like six times. And it's just kind of sad, poor little portal. <laughs> Glad they're made out of obsidian. Uh, PS4 is more Java uh, because of the technicality side of it, the technical side. So all of the redstone and stuff over there is more or less Java based, mob spawning, all that stuff. They're adding like weird stupid features from Bedrock to it, trying to like ease the conversion and, and you know, the process ruining the platform. Um, but yeah, it's mo it's it's closer to Java. It's closer to Java because that's what it was originally based off of, which is a good thing. Favorite new bug in 1.13. <laughs> oh jeez, um, I don't know. There's so many. There's so many. I don't think there's any good bugs though, is there? Have none of these cactuses grown? Literally, not a single one of them grew once. Wow, <laughs> that was, uh, that was productive, wasn't it? Hmm. Well then. Uh, I guess we'll harvest some cacti from the desert. Uh, we'll start a new base here soon. That's mostly why we're working on finishing up the current base. It's like once we get the Savannah Village done, uh, we'll be free to finish up a couple other projects and then move over to the main base. And hopefully we don't implode the server with lag. <laughs> For reals. Oh god. Stupid. Oh wow, that was like a lot of sand that fell. <laughs> the entire thing fell in. I'm glad there's some torches down here. I thought it was like lava at first because it got way brighter. I was just like, oh, well, that's the end of me. I'll just, I'll just stand here and die. This is fine. <laughs> just trying to get some cactus from my desert over here and the whole thing falls in, tries to kill me. Why is there... Random lily pad, that's fine. And also, there's a sign over here as well. What does this say? Echoes base. All of the planes. Very nice. We'll just go ahead and light that up. <laughs> That's a good view of the birch monstrosity as well, isn't it? It looks so stupid. I mean, it looks great. Yeah, I do have some basic ideas for how the base is going to be laid out and the different things that we're going to have in it. Uh, however, all of that is a top secret, not allowed to tell you. <laughs> but it should be really good. I think it's going to be awesome. Whose base is my favorite? Um, Daphne's is really nice. I liked his Tom's, even though he's torn it down like four times already. But yeah, I like how he has his laid out. It's just like massive and cool and technical and farming and stuff. It's nice. Uh, Jason knows all, and McGrew, and Trevor, and Pizza Crust. Thank you all so much for the follows. And Ethan, thank you very much for the follow as well. Welcome to the silence, guys. 
Hope we're doing good today. Yeah, okay, so the final thing that we need to do over here, now that I'm no longer getting distracted by stuff and things, in the form of having to harvest cacti, <laughs> is uh, we need to put like a little cactus garden in this area. Now, I'm not entirely sure how to go about doing that. Uh, we could use orange sand, I suppose, because the cacti only grows on sand. What do you guys think? Should we use like normal sand? And kind of give it like a little desert mini biome feel or should we do something else with the orange sand and maybe like some clays and stuff I don't know uh, now the only way to zero take anything that is not sugarcane is to use the larger method with chunk borders You like the orange sand, normal sand. Hmm. Well, now you guys are making me have to decide on my own. Oof. Uh, what massive project have we completed recently? Uh, the beacon factory is more or less complete. There's just a couple small things that we need to do over there. Honestly, we have so many projects going. Uh, one, of the, one of my problems this season is like starting too many projects. Uh, so we got orange, orange, normal. I think that's three for orange and two for normal. I think if I'm keeping count, uh, let's try both. Let's try both, you know, give it a fair shot. I think the orange will look a little bit better because the green will be kind of a contrast. And orange is also going to kind of blend with the village a little bit more. Let's go ahead and remove all these torches. Charge creeper instantly spawns, blows up everything. Wouldn't be surprised. Uh, that torch right there. And then need to replace that with the and site. Thank you. Cool. So that's consistent. So now for this, I guess, hmm. Let's drop off some of the things from my inventory. Yeah, this is going to be kind of a weird one. I'm not entirely sure how we should lay this out. I do like the idea of a, like a little oasis in here. Hmm. Uh, Septic Spud, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well today. So I guess we will just go ahead and start with tearing out a little bit of this side. If the block lag allows. And then we place down some sand and see how that looks. If it looks bad, that's fine. We can tear it out. Also, we should probably go ahead and take a nap. That way we can see this in the day. And have full light. Yeah, the witch farm still works fine. Witch farm is still good. And Dre, you just got Twitch as well to watch the streams. Very nice. Welcome to Twitch. Hope you enjoy the streams. There's also like a ton of good people on Twitch as well. So be sure to check out the other streamers on the platform. So many good streams. A lot of the Truly Bedrock members also stream on Twitch too. So there is that. And Black Angel, thank you very much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. I do appreciate it. You now have the power of frog thinks. And frog thinks are the best kinds of things. Okay, so maybe we do like an orange sand center, right? Hear me out. And then on the edges, we do like a white sand. I guess it's not called white sand, it's just sand. But it's it's kind of white, it's kind of yellowish. It's it's sand colored. What do you expect me to say? Sand. 
So maybe we kind of like mix it in there as well a little bit, just a little bit of uh, variation. The block lag is making it very hard to mix colors though. And then hot bar lag as well. That's not helping either. Dang it. Oh man. What's the perimeter of the village base? Oh, I'm not actually sure how big the village is. You know, that's something that's never really occurred to me before. Oh, dang it. Can I just fly, please? Before I fly into like a cactus or something? Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I mean, the village is pretty big. I mean, you know, it's that size, <laughs> whatever that size is. So it's fairly sizable, you know? It's not like a small project. I don't think it's technically a massive project. That might have just been for the, the stream title, but I kind of make a good stream title. Can't blame me. Okay, so what do you guys think? Should we just keep it uh, one color of sand? Should we mix it together a little bit? Or what should we do in this area? I think we should also get some clay in here a little bit as well. I kind of want it to be like more orange than normal. Jump boost. I mean, I, I actually have a hard time taking off of jump boost. I don't know what it is, but like it doesn't want me to take off. You love the mix. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yay, I did something. <laughs> mildly surprised by that but yeah we get a little bit of clay in here too and we need to mix in a couple of leaves let's tear out all of that stuff ah the block lag yeah it's killing me every time there's a block lag I I lose a little bit of my soul <laughs> It's so bad, how have they not fixed it? The block lag has been a thing for years. How have they not fixed it? They fixed it in like 1.9. And now it's been back since 1.10. So bad. Not fan. Uh, JW, thank you very much for the biddies. The Terminator biddies. <laughs> I never noticed that his glasses like came down and then exploded. That's cute. <laughs> And yes, by the way, if you are going to cheer to anybody on Twitch, make sure you also include the Terminator emote, because then you give them uh, plus 10% bits for free. So if you donate, like, or, you know, if you cheer $10 worth of bits, and then you use the Terminator emote, uh, the person that you're cheering to gets $11 of bitties. So bonus 10% for not doing anything besides Terminator, which is kind of cool. Twitch is nice like that. They do they do nice little promotions and stuff. Help out their streamers. Yeah, we are planning on moving to a server eventually. Uh, we're in the process of getting that figured out. Uh, no updates on that front yet, but it's happening eventually soon TM probably Okay, let's go ahead and tear out a little bit of this orange sand as well. We kind of need to make this stuff last So we're gonna mix in like a fair amount of the uh, Orange sandstone A little bit more of this stuff. We only got like 30 of this go Ouch, I really like orange though. I really like the orange It just works pretty well Especially for what we're doing in the village, like, yeah, it's just good. And go ahead and throw some of that down there as well. A few bits more of that, and bloop. I guess we may as well just like completely terraform this whole side. We'll see how it turns out. Orange is a good color. I agree. <laughs> Silas says, let's dig all this stuff out. Block lag be like, no. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Cyberfoe. 
and Optic Ziz Optics. That's how you say your name. Optics. Yes. I know words. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for the follows. Welcome to the silence. And by the way, if you have not followed the stream already, you should definitely do that. It's a little heart button, and it's basically the equivalent of subscribing on YouTube. And then hopefully that way you might also occasionally uh, get a notification of when the stream is live. And I guess while I'm on this topic, you should probably also join the Discord server as well. Discord is amazing, and like we have an awesome community in there. We would love to have you join us. Uh, there will be a link to the Discord server right now in chat. Discord. Discord is pretty awesome. Would recommend. And I guess the Discord server is about to be like three years old as well, isn't it? God, time really flies. <laughs> I'm becoming a veteran, slowly but surely. Yeah, I still have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> That's reassuring. Kind of patchworky. Uh, no confirmation on block lag, but I do know that we're gonna be getting a 1.13.1 and 1.14 for Bedrock Edition soon TM. I have no other information besides that, but it's reassuring. So take that with whatever piles of salt you might want to. Oh, we can also go ahead and mix in some uh, jack-o'-lanterns as well. It might look a little bit weird just having this like splotch of orange stuff in the middle of the village, but you know what? It's my village. Do what I want. Come here. Can't make me build whatever. Build consistency? What is that? Not a thing that I know about. Okay, a little bit of leaves over there as well. A little bit of leaves up there, and then we need to get those cacti. Uh, also, this is a pretty flat area, so we should probably get some, uh, sl some sandstone slabs. That would be good. Uh, 1.14 likely won't have any combat. Also, I shot you, bro. I haven't seen you around in ages. Welcome back to another stream. Yeah, 1.14 for Bedrock's likely not gonna have any combat. Like, at all. I mean, they're not gonna, like, remove it, but they're probably not gonna like add new combat features if you know what I mean so there's that don't count on anything is what I'm saying and yeah just a couple slabs here and there does kind of help doesn't it helps make make this whole thing work a little bit better I'm still not like entirely sold on it but you know what if we throw in a couple dead bushes I could be sold also put in the actual cacti, the thing that I was like intending to do. <laughs> cacti here, cacti there. Cacti everywhere. And then we also need to kind of uh, blend this in with the existing uh, builds that we got going around. Yeah, PS4 will get Bedrock Edition sometime. Just don't rush them on that stuff. You don't want them to mess it up. Don't want them to mess it up at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and finish this up quickly, shall we? Throw some of these things away that we don't quite need. And put that hoe in there. Cool. So how we're gonna mix this with the surrounding areas. We might be able to get a little bit of coarse dirt and then uh, surround that a little bit. A couple little bits of sand, a little bit of slabs. That might help out our uh, like mixing objective. Also, Natty Ducks, thank you very much for resubscribing for six months, half a year. That is pretty awesome of you. 
Very nice. I think you probably got a new badge for that, didn't you? Yes, you did. Nice. A little, like, light blue teal Pikmin. GG. <laughs> uh, who needs PS4 Bedrock when you already have a PS1? <laughs> Fair enough. And also, uh, Duboy, thank you very much for subscribing with your Twitch Prime as well. So many subs. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Ridiculous. What did I do? I don't know. Okay, so for these edges, we'll add just like a little bit of cursed door. Yeah. Yeah. I said that absolutely correctly. <laughs> I also don't know what I did to deserve the pronunciation of words that I have, but... Must have been super bad. <laughs> uh, that actually doesn't look terrible, does it? As long as we kind of like hide the transition with like... Foliage, we should be fine. Yeah, that's not super terrible. It's just like 99% terrible. Let's get out the bone meal, shall we? And then have a few more plants. And maybe a dead bush or two. That might help as well. A couple of these guys. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually going to be a pretty decent way of, uh, you know, transitioning out of this little miniature biome that we got. So let's go ahead and convert a little bit more of the surrounding areas doing that. So I think that's not a terrible idea. Dorty. Yeah. Cursed Dort. <laughs> yeah, basically. I knew you guys would get a kick out of that. Up Dorts. <laughs> it's Dort. Come on. You guys know you like Dort. Uh, title text here in Keola. Thank you all so much for the follows. Ing Ing English with Hawaii went. Tonoi. Yeah, English with Hawaii went. English with Hawaii went. <laughs> okay, now I'm just having a bad accent. I'm trying to do like the uwu speech. English with Hawaii went. <laughs> Uh, I like smiling a lot as well, so it makes it much harder to say words. It's not helping. Why do I dig, dig myself into these holes? I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, hold on. What am I doing? Wrong blocks. Those ones. <laughs> we also learned something tonight. I'm terrible at accents. Jeez. <laughs> At least you guys enjoy it. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? At least I have that going for me. Uh, the Trusted Duck. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Soylence. And also, Push, thank you very much for the cheer. Speech plus 100. Yeah. Yeah, 100 plus speech, definitely. I know what I'm doing when it comes to speech. Definitely don't need any speech therapy. No, why would you think that? That's just rude. Ow, the stupid cacti. These guys are mean. Why in the world would I ever need to know how to speak words? I'm professional. I'm really bad at saying uwu, uwu speech, aren't I? Okay, so let's just tear out a little bit more of this. We need to get some more of that cursed dirt. Cursed dirt. I was gonna keep calling it coarse dirt. It's actually kind of fun to say. Coarse dirt. <laughs> Everybody's got their way of butchering words, you know. I stole a chat chat and bushes. I I'm allowed to make up Dort. Yeah, it's it's Dort. That's mine. Nobody else is nobody else can have it. Get some coarse door over here. Put a little bit more coarse door up here. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Curse of the dork. Oi. <laughs> Words, smirds. <laughs> I might have that. Yeah, go for it. Is Dork grammar? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's fun to say. Dork. You Dork. 
You big dort. That's a big pile of dort. I need to clean the doherty dishes. <laughs> uh, words are stupid. Words are really stupid. Okay, how's this going? I mean, I, I don't know. Give me your criticism in the chat. Otherwise, don't make fun of your names just by trying to pronounce them normally. You have been warned. I think we need a little bit more of uh, sand in random places. Try and transition out a little bit more. And then some dead bushes as well. Bushes are good. Oh, and then maybe a slab or two. That would probably be a good idea. Uh, slab a jab there. Ow, stupid cacti. Slab a jab there. And then, I don't know. Dorder. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Good. Yay. Your name is impossible to make fun of. This boy is so weird. He's got a this boy name. He forgot to put the one in his one, two, three name. There you go. I made fun of your name. How about that? Wasn't very good making fun of, but I, I tried. You know, a, a plus for effort. It's not like I ever intentionally make fun of people's names. So like... It's not like I have practice with that. <laughs> Amazing, please don't butcher your name. Uh, waking whistle. I almost said walking whistle. <laughs> See, look at that, I was just gonna butcher it just by trying to say it normally. Uh, that one was nearly your fault though. It's too close to walking. <laughs> Also, Minus Acrobat, thank you very much for the biddies! Many biddies! Make sure to use the Terminator thing too, by the way. Because otherwise, there ain't no bonus biddies. But thank you so much, man. No more Dort. Oh no, there's plenty of Dort. There's some Dort over there. A little bit of coarse Dort. A little bit of Dort to Dort. Pile of Dort. Some Tilled Dort. Some Path Block Dort. It's fun to say. I'm gonna look it up later, and it's probably gonna be like the most horrid, terrible meaning ever for Dort. I should probably look it up now. Hold on. Or say it another 20,000 times. Dort. Dort Federal Credit Union. Yeah, like I said, the most terrible, horrific thing in the world. Credit unions. Ugh. Banks. Yeah. Okay, at least it doesn't have like a terrible. Oh, I, hold on. Urban Dictionary. Urban Dictionary. Boomer is the first, <laughs> first search right there. Dort. Oh my god, it does have one. Oh no. <laughs> Never mind. Nope. Not gonna say Dort anymore. <laughs> Don't look it up. It's fine. Why do they gotta ruin all the words? <laughs> okay. Oh no, okay, Boomer. Yeah, basically. Okay, so I think this project has gone fairly well. I'm gonna get in trouble for saying Dort 20,000 times. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, we should probably add in maybe one or two more cacti's, except I don't have any. That's fine. We'll just take one of you. It's not like you needed that part of yourself anyway. And then we'll throw you uh, somewhere. There's not that many places to plant a cacti, actually. Uh, hmm. I think I put a cacti on every available block. Now that I look at it, right there, cool. So yeah, this this project turned out pretty well. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's stream. Uh, make sure to stick around because we will be raiding someone at the beginning or at the end of the stream, and it's gonna be amazing. Uh, but make sure to check out the links there in the chat, of course, if you feel like it, and then you can join our Discord server. You can do all the different things and stuff, and we would love to have you join our community more if you are new here you should definitely drop a follow as well and then you know yeah do all the things anyway thank you all so much for watching today i think we're gonna go ahead and raid iscal uh because he is apparently live let me actually check his channel make sure he's currently live because sometimes the raid things no he's not he's hosting someone then why is it tell me he's live with like a thousand viewers that's so stupid 
So this is live. Huh. Anyway, uh, who do you guys want to raid tonight? Is Joe Hills on? Uh, Joe Hills is on. Okay, so we might go raid him. And then... Who else we got? Drathmark. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go raid Joe Hills. He actually has really good and funny streams. You should definitely check it out if you have not already. Would definitely recommend. And I'll catch you guys over there in his stream as well. Thank you so much for watching mine. I will see you guys again on Tuesday night at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Doing some more stuff here on the Truly Bedrock Realm. And have yourself a good one, everybody. I'll see you in Joe's stream and in the Discord server as well. Uh, not Anonymous Potato, thank you for the bitty. And Push, thank you very much for the biddies as well. You guys are amazing. <laughs> I'll catch you in the next one. I love your faces. And then there was silence. Bye.